The resistant external derotation test is a good test for gluteal tendinopathy. This is a uh, partially passive test to set up and then it's active uh, as far as the assessment. So this client will typically complain of lateral hip pain. And so what you're trying to do with this test, that positive response will, would be reproducing that lateral trochanter uh, lateral hip pain. So you passively bring them up to 90 degrees. From that position is then you don't do any, no adduction or abduction, but from that position is that passively externally rotate his femur to end range. And then what I tell the client to do is what I'm going to do is have the client, when instructed, is that they're going to push their leg back to a neutral rotation position. So when I bring him to end range here is what I'm going to ask him to do. Now can you push against my left hand, push, and then relax. So with the test, the setup is passive, so again, passive to 90 degrees, passive to end range external rotation, he then actively pushes to this neutral position. With the active contraction to that neutral position, a reproduction of this pain on his lateral side, so lateral trochanter and or posterior lateral trochanter would be a positive response for this test.